not long time ago, Shelly launched some new Bluetooth operated devices, a Bluetooth door window sensor and a Bluetooth button. Normally, Shelly is operating on Wi-Fi. So how can Bluetooth and Wi-Fi now be combined? This is a question I'm getting quite a lot. So in this video, I would like to show you how you can add the new Bluetooth operated devices to the Shelly app, how you can update it. And in the end of the video, I will also show you how you can add it to Home Assistant even without having a built-in Bluetooth gateway or a Bluetooth stick. So normally Shelly devices are operating on Wi-Fi and to be able to connect Shelly Bluetooth devices to the internet, we need some kind of a gateway. The smart thing here is that all Shelly Plus devices and all Shelly uh, Pro devices, which are mains connected, can operate and act as a gateway. So this is just an example like the Shelly Plus plug is. This device can actually act as a gateway. So the Bluetooth devices have different functions. The button right here have one short push, two pushes, and support three pushes, and the long push. You can disable the sound when you click the device. You can do that from the Shelly BLE Epoch app. I will show you this as well. The small device here is meant for like having in your keychain or having on the desk uh, near your bed or something like that. On the kids' room so they can quick and easy turn on, turn off the lights. Then we have the Bluetooth door window sensor right here. And uh, this sensor is like a multi-sensor, so it does not just support open close, but it also has built-in lock sensor and it has a tilt sensor. So you can see the tilt angel in the app. Let me just try to set up a few devices in the Shelly app and show you how this works. So first, I will suggest that you're updating the sensors. You can update the sensors from the Shelly BLE app. Now it is searching for nearby Bluetooth devices. You need to activate the device first. Here, it found immediately the Shelly blue button, press it. And now we can do different things. Before we can make an over-the-air update, we need to connect to the device. So press connect. And now we need to press the device again. It is connecting. And now we need to set it in pairing mode. So we need to hold, press and hold the button for 10 seconds. Connect to the device. Now that device is updating. So let's just wait for the update to, to complete. Now the update completed and we have connected the device. And from here, we can check if there's any new updates. It is updated. You can uh, enable and disable beacon mode. Um, I don't want to go into details with beacon mode in this video, but it's a very uh, nice feature. You can mute the device. Now you can hear the beep when you click it. If, you, if we mute it, you'll not be able to hear the beep whenever you click it. I will, I will keep the, the beep sound on so you can hear when I press the device. You can also encrypt it and you can locate it if you want to do that. So, so you can actually find your keys if they are lost or something like that. So now we have updated the button. Let me just at the same time update the door window sensor. To be able to update the door window sensor, we need to press the button and it should show up. It did immediately. Let's press it and let's connect to the, the, the device. Press the button. Now it's trying to connect. It will ask for setting up pairing mode. So we need to press and hold the button here for 10 seconds. It asked for connection. We are connecting. Now it's connected. So again, we can do the update right here. Let's enter the OTA update, there's a new version, let's hit the update button. If 
Perfect. So now we have updated both of the devices that we would like to add to our app. So next is that we need to go to our Shelly app, open that one. And from the Shelly app, we can now add the devices. Uh, when we would like to add a Bluetooth device, we need to press the plus icon in the corner. Um, let me just change my language to English so you better understand me. Perfect. So to add a device, we press the plus icon, add a new device here and add a Bluetooth device. Uh, now the device should show up when they are activated. So we just need to activate a device. Let's uh, press the button. And now you see that the new button showed up. Let's add it. We need to press the button again. Now it asks for a button name. Let's call it blue button office. Perfect. Now, this is the interesting part. So now we need to select all of the Pro and Plus devices that we would like to act as a gateway. So I've already selected a few devices for my previous Bluetooth sensors. So I will go with this. If I would like to add more, I can just add which devices I would like to like act as a gateway. When you have chose your devices, you can press the next button. Now we need to pick a room again, like always. I will pick the office, and now the device is being associated with my account. And that's it. Um, now I have the blue button down here. It is pending connection. Let's just press the device. Now you can see it went online. So uh, all good. I can see I have a 100% battery. If I click once, it says one click. If I click twice, it, it says double click triple click and hopefully also a long click perfect so the device is working now as it as it should and i will be able to check if i can add a scene and from the scene i can call it uh, test oops blue button from here I will be able to find my device blue button button push and as you can see I can trigger the device it supports short push long push double short push and a triple short push so we can now start doing some automations with our Bluetooth device is Added to our uh, Shelly Cloud app, um, let me just quickly add the blue door, door window sensor. Again, I need to add a new device and it's just the same. So add via Bluetooth. Uh, to search for the device, I need to activate it. So just open it. And now you can see the new blue door window device. Again, press the device and give it a name. I will call it Blue door window, office window, like this. Again, it remembers my uh, chosen Bluetooth gateways. So that's all good. And I can place it in my office. All good now. So now we have actually added our Bluetooth door window sensor. It is still pending connection. So before you will be able to use it, you just need to activate it. So just open and close it. And now you can see that it is closed. You can see the locks level. You can see that we have 100% battery. You can go to the device settings, see the timestamps and so on. Let's just check how fast it re actually reacts. So from we open it, so we'll close it. Open, close. Open, close. So be aware that the magnet is is actually uh, quite quite good. So you can open it quite long, and it will still be like closed. So the distance for these two devices can be, I guess, it's like one or two centimeters before it reacts. 
Oh, here. See, that's a, that, that's quite long, actually. This is the maximum distance. So from we removed from here, it will react quite fast. So that's that's the door window sensor and the Bluetooth button. Now we have added them to our Shelly Cloud app. And uh, let me just show you how we can add it to our Home Assistant. So to add your Shelly Bluetooth device to Home Assistant is basically quite simple. You just need to configure your Shelly Plus or Pro devices as a proxy gateway. Very important to remember is that you don't need to add your Shelly device to the Shelly Cloud app first. You can do it directly with Home Assistant even without having any uh, Shelly Cloud app installed. Let's just jump to Home Assistant. So this is my Home Assistant and to be able to add a new device to Home Assistant we simply just need to go to Settings. You need to find your Home Assistant integration. Again, let me check if I can change my language to English. Seems like I can't. I hope you understand it, even though it's Danish. Let me go to my devices. From my devices, we need to scroll down, find our Shelly integration right here. Press it. And from here, you can find the devices which you can add as proxy gateways. So. If we scroll down, it should be able to like configure some of our devices. Here you can see it says configure. I'm sorry that it is in Danish, but I hope that you understand. So pre press the configure button on the Shell Plus or Pro devices that you need to set up as a proxy gateway. From here, you can uh, set uh, different kind of uh, settings, like you can have them as inactive or active or as passive proxy gateways. Just uh, hit the passive button, I've already done it, and do it for the devices you need as proxy gateway. So this is inactive, I would like to add it as a passive proxy sensor, uh, which means that I now have a quite big Bluetooth network in my house. I have multiple Bluetooth gateways already. And when you have done that, it's quite simple. You simply go to your uh, device settings once again, and you can see that a new Shelly device already showed up as a BT Home sensor. So what you need to do to make them show up is simply just to activate the device. And when you activate the device, it should show up. So this is probably already the Bluetooth button that showed up here. So press the configure uh, button, press send. And yeah, this is the button I just showed you. Um, pick an area. This is for my office like this and now that one is configured now i would like to configure like the bluetooth door window sensor so again uh, to make it sure up in home assistant just open and close it and now you can see that it showed up immediately and again hit configure and choose the area we would like to, to to add it to and now you have the devices in the bt home integration if you press the devices, you can see that I have all of my Shelly Blue door window and blue button sensors inside here. So that's it for today. That's how easily you can add your Shelly Bluetooth devices to the Shelly Cloud app and also how you can add them to a home assistant and start doing automations. Have a nice day.